In a post on the Play Avengers subreddit, a Crystal Dynamics developer writes, Hi, a small update from the team. Hi everyone, happy October. Hope everyone is staying safe in these trying times. I want to jump in here to hopefully provide a bit of insight into future patches and communication. Firstly, we're always working on future patches, usually looking two to three patches ahead, and scheduling where bug fixes, tuning, and new features will fall. At launch, we dropped weekly patches to address urgent bugs and feedback. Mm, now that's what I'm talking about. I am so sorry for that interruption. I normally never get subscribers. I apologize. <laughs> At launch, we drop weekly patches to address urgent bugs and feedback, but that will likely change to a slightly longer cycle so that we can implement more meaningful tuning and features which require extensive testing. That doesn't mean that we won't work towards hotfixes and if needed. As for the timing of our patches and our next patch specifically, we are aiming, oh god, the flashbacks, for it to go live next week. In terms of communication, we want to say that we are always here, every day, all day. We see every single thread and have been bringing your feedback and suggestions to the team every week. Well, if you're if you're making it through any of my videos, I'd be shocked. Many of the fixes and changes in past patches are directly due to the feedback that we see here and across social media. We can't always respond with specifics due to timing or shifting plans, but please, note that we are never ignoring you. That's what it's felt like. We intend to increase communication by hosting weekly Q&As and dev live streams, which we hope to kick off after an upcoming State of the Game blog that will answer a bunch of questions for you. It's been a lot of work to put together, but we think it addresses most major topics of concern that we've seen here. We want to give insight into the future content. This is a fantastic step in the right direction, and it's exactly what we were hoping for about a week ago. About a week ago. Sorry. Specific to last week. Megan, I don't want to pronounce that wrong, was holding down the fort at the studio as an FYI while she jumped in to help a bunch with the communication at launch as senior community manager. Her job is mostly behind the scenes, working with the developers to prioritize feedback, work on patches, and plan upcoming community programs on Reddit or social media. You'll often be chatting with myself, who is Andy, and one of my co-workers posting from this or the Play Avengers account. Thank you for all your continued support. Um, this is Kyle speaking now. Um, all I can say that this is a, is a step in the right direction. I would never want to sully what is seems to finally be something in the way of uh, a bridge being formed between the developers and the players. I think this is the only thing that can salvage um, some of uh, some of the disappointment that's been floating around, you know, because games launching in a bad state these days, unfortunately, it's not something that is uh, is entirely unique to this product. And um, it was just the silence, the deafening silence that made it seem as if this game, its future was uncertain, and that maybe we had been... We'd been hustled the way that people were hustled when No Man's Sky first came out. And, you know, there are a lot of narratives sometimes. I remember the narrative when No Man's Sky came out was that, oh, everybody hyped themselves up too much. That's crazy when you consider that this man, Sean Murray of Hello Games, jumped on television and told lies, you know? On the Steam page, there were lies. There were absolute deceptions as it pertains to things that were not in the game. And if you were to go back in time and ask anybody, hey, you think this Marvel game that's coming out, is, is, it's $60, you think it's only going to have one enemy type? You think there are only going to be two villains in the post game? 
You think you wouldn't be able to play replay the single player mode that they're so happy about? These are things that are just insane. Do you think there's going to be a Marvel game with no um, locations? I do not want to bring down the tone of this. I am not being negative. I'm just saying with the state of the game as it is, it's not just a content thing. Because when we look at the past patches and we see that they're a bit, uh, they're a bit fix heavy because this game launched a little bit broken. We just wanted to talk. And if talking in the way of questions and answers moving forward is what we're going to be doing, this is going to be explosively exciting. I was looking at the Marvel Avengers subreddit a couple of days ago and came across the story of somebody named Punch Clops. A lot of us maybe never played Marvel Heroes, but a large amount of people that did play Marvel Heroes were playing this game and he was saying how even he was going to stop. I was amused by the name Punch Clops, so I wanted to know what the hell this guy's story was. To make a quick summary, apparently this guy played Marvel Heroes back when they didn't even have a ocular blast. You know Cyclops, the X-Men character, has like, you know, this this eye thing. You've seen the movies. Um, Cyclops X-Men. And apparently, when when this guy, his who goes by Punch Clops, was playing Marvel Heroes, Cyclops didn't even have the ability to shoot stuff out of his uh, eyes. He was playing from so early in the development that apparently he was running around punching people on Cyclops. But apparently so invested was he because of the communication going on from the developers because of the forward momentum of the game at the time that he was delighted to be able to play as his favorite hero and continue to play. That's what I want to see with Marvel Avengers. This is a step in the right direction. And, um, and I'm very, very happy about this. Um... That's all this is going to be about. Just a little bit of an up update. Some responses are all good things in here. Now we just need you to put up the goods. I think this will do well to calm down the fire. People saying thank you. Communication is good. You know. Good. <laughs> good. Holy crap. Punch clops, though, boy. Apparently, this dude ended up having like items in the game. Small handful of you may remember me from Marvel Heroes. I was there for the game during closed beta, just like I was with this one. It too had a rough start. It was missing features, a wide range of bugs. At launch, Cyclops could do no, could do more damage with his punch than the optic blast. So the blast was in the game, he just could do more damage with the punch. So why even do the blast? Love it. I loved it so much, I fully leveled Cyclops using just his punch, no optical um, blasts. I tell you this to say that I had no issue with repetitive gameplay, no problems with running the same missions and scenarios over and over. I loved Marvel Heroes. So much that I leveled my main characters in the dumbest and slowest ways possible. Why am I already bored with Marvel's Avengers? Boy, you really don't need to be bringing down this list uh, or this uh, video. This video is to indicate that uh, Crystal Dynamics has taken a step in the right direction. You know, and instead of me being too sour and saying, well, where the hell have you been? You know, maybe somebody just lost a, I don't know. The, the keys to the internet or something. Jesus hell. I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and need to tone it down. I'm going to need to come off a little less rough around the edges and be civil so that hopefully I can be one of the guys that seems squeaky clean and candy ass enough to actually speak to them because the passion falling out of me is probably going to be so scary, dude. It's going to be so scary. They, if, if they were going to do a five gum sponsorship, you know, stream. They definitely wouldn't come to me, and I need to make it. We got to change my, I got to change my appearance here. So look, if they ever, if they do some updates in the future, I will be the first one to cover it. You know, let's let's see where this goes. Um, stay safe. Take it easy.